because today's video is something I've been wanting to film for so long. Judging by the title, you know that I bought a few things skincare related and they're also special because they're Korean skincare. I mean, hello! And I think that Koreans pretty much have the best skin. The thing that I love about Korean skincare is that they take risks, they use different ingredients that kind of Western brands don't use at all because it's just weird. People look at them and they're like, ooh, why would you use egg yolk on your face? But it works. I'll challenge you to go and try and find a Korean person that has bad skin. You will fail. It is so, so hard. Or they're one in a million. Like seriously, one in a million. So I bought some things from Peach and Lily. They are actually an American store. Their store is honestly so beautiful. I've just opened it up on my iPad. And it's just clean. It's easy to use. You can navigate really well through the store. Their site is specific to Korean skincare. I've gotten a few things. I want to show you guys what I got, but I thought I would do a little unboxing of sorts. And I've just seen that they're having a sale on a mask that I really want. So don't mind me while I buy more Korean skincare. The thing that I love most about this store is that the descriptions about the product are very, very thorough. They're really helpful. I'm a very cautious person. I like to know that I'm going to spend my money on something that I'm going to use and that I'm going to love. So it actually took me so long to decide on these products. But here we are doing an unboxing, so I finally made a decision. I'm going to start with the testers. Because I spent a certain amount of money, I spent a lot of money, um, they sent over testers, which I think they do with every order, but I'm just going to I'm gonna make as if it's just me. Two testers that they sent me are the S Energy Cleansing Gel. I looked at this, I wanted to buy it, but then I think it was like 20 something dollars, which... I, which Works out to about three, four hundred rand in South African rand. So I was like, mm, better not. So yeah, so I'm happy that I've got a, a tester for this. And it says, gently removes makeup and impurities in the pores without irritating the skin. That's the thing that I saw mostly on the website was that a lot of these products help to not irritate your skin. So they can work for sensitive skin, which I'm very happy about. My skin is my prized possession. I love it. I'm just talking about my face skin though, because my body, the rest of my body is just, yeah. Another tester they sent over is the Aromatica Celendula Juicy Cream. And this is, it's hyperallergenic and unscented. I mean, did I not just say that they do everything for sensitive skin? It's beautiful, fragrance-free, intensive moisturizer. This is right up my alley. I decided to use that. So now moving on to products that I've actually bought. And this is the Cremal Lab Cleansing Veil. This is basically facial wipes. I'm not usually a fan of normal facial wipes that you get from the drugstore. I just don't like them. I think they're too harsh on my skin. They hurt my eyes. The thought, hey, Korean skincare, everything's made for like sensitive skin and it's beautiful, different ingredients. Let me give it a try. So I got the tester one, well, the trial size one, which is just 10 sheets. And that's enough for me, just in case I don't like it. It's only $5, which basically is like 70 Rand maybe, which now that I'm looking at it, 10 sheets, 70 Rand, I don't know, but it's nice to try. I think I'll do a little review video once I've finished some of these things or once I've used them a few times. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. I bought a good collection of sheet masks. I have four here, and then I got a few for my sister as well because I had all these things sent to her. So I was like, I want to send you some fun things. So I got both of us the Radiant Lace Hydrogel Mask Sheet, and this is the illuminating one. Really excited to try this because it's actual lace. Most of these masks were five, three, or four dollars, somewhere around there. All right, I'll definitely Snapchat it or Instagram story it. I'll do something like that, or I'll do an actual mini little review video on each of these masks or something like that. We'll see how it goes. And this is from the Benelico. And then I have two masks from the Seven Days Mask range, and this is the Lemon Brightening and Smoothing one. And then I also got the Sebum Control Peeling Green Tea one. And I'm really excited to try these. Both of them look amazing. These were only $3, so really, really, really cost effective. I'm excited to try these. I definitely should have bought more, but I'm going to be making another order. I can see it already. Now that I get to use these, I'm going to need some more of this Korean skincare. Once again, I'll let you guys know how these fend. This is a mask that I'm super excited about. Because it says it's the, what range is this from? Mm, Leaders Medieu. That's probably incorrect, but I can't pronounce it. So we're just going to go with that. Leaders Medieu. Medieu? Medieu? Maybe it's Medieu. I don't know. And this is the Amino Moisture Mask. The reason I got this was for the Hyaluronic Acid. 
I've heard the girls from All Dogs Have Speak About Hyaluronic Acid several times over and over again, and I'm just like, I need to get some products with hyaluronic acid in them. Come on. So when I saw this mask, I was just like, yep, yeah, you're going in my cart. It is happening. I don't know how, but this beautiful mask was only $3. $3. That is nothing. I haven't found an eye cream that I absolutely love that I can't imagine my life without. So I thought I would try something different, hence eye cream. This is the Maison Snail Repair Eye Cream. This comes in a tube and this is the travel size, but it's very, very generous. This is a, what is that, 15ml, uh, quite a bit. It's pretty generous for an eye cream because you really need the smallest amount. This again is very, very generous for a travel size. This is the Makeup Raw Sauce. It's 100% acre maple water. Really excited to try this. This was only $14, which is pretty, pretty cheap. I'm excited to give it a go. And this packaging is just so beautiful. Mm, that smells amazing. Very light texture. Oh, smells so beautiful. Oh, this is a dream. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this. Second to last thing, this is the Vanilla Co Clean It Zero. And this is kind of like a sherbet cleanser. I think that this also does the same thing where it melts down to an oil. Oh, oh, that smells like a dream. I was expecting it to have something exfoliating in it. I don't know why, but it doesn't seem to have any kind of harsh texture. It just is very smooth, very oil-based and smells amazing. Oh, it's got like kind of a rose scent to it. I don't know what ingredients they have in this, but my hand smells beautiful. This seems very generous for like $16. It was on sale on the site and I was like, yep, definitely coming home with me. This is the Aromatica 95% Damask Rose Soothing Gel. When I get my eyebrows threaded, they use like a soothing gel and I thought this would be nice to try for summer. In Cape Town, it gets really hot and sweaty and humid and I'm just, I'm not a fan. So I thought maybe I should get something a little bit lighter than my usual everyday cream that I use because in winter my skin needs all the nourishment but in summer I can use something light like this. So that was what I was leaning towards. Let me give it a sniff. It looks really exciting to me. Let me give it a go. Well, it's basically like water. Oh wow. I'm excited to use this on my face in summer. This is not as rosy as I was expecting it to be or maybe I'm just like not in love with the scent but I mean, it's okay. It's not It's not exactly what I was expecting, but let's see. Those are all the Korean skincare products that I bought. I hope that you guys have enjoyed seeing this. If you want to see actual reviews on these products once I've used them, leave me a comment and let me know what you guys have tried, what you want me to try out first, and then I'll give that stuff a go. And I'll do little reviews, I think, as I go along. If you want to see an entire video where I review all of these products, then let me know in the comments. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then definitely click that subscribe button. Also, I'll leave the link over here and you can follow me on all my different social media. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.